All right, guys. This is uh, uh, the very first of uh, the very first video of a series that um, that I'm about to to create. Um, I cre I'm creating this as a tutorial to help. Uh, um, hopefully, help a lot of people out there because I know for me, I have had issues, especially with Xamarin Form, where if I want to create, if I want a control, and I want that control to to look the same whether or not it's on iPhone, Android, or um, <clears throat> a Windows phone, I've had some issues, especially when it comes to, uh, to Xamarin, the, the Switch. Um, I, I myself particularly, particularly like my Switch to have a label. So I figured, let's create a custom Switch that has a label, an off button, an on button, and uh, so this is what we're going to do. What, uh, what you're going to, to need to start, I created and already imported uh, the, um, the, the on button and the off button for the switch. This is what the switch is going to look like. Well, the button when it's on. And this is what it's going to look like when it's off. So on off well those are different ratios but sorry let me okay so on off all right and the second part that you're going to need is an image x um, file that I, uh, I found online and I, I particularly like it because um, it allows my my images to to maintain the, the ratio that I wanted it to have um, without being um, without any part of it being clipped so and also here's what we're going to do uh, we already have the image X imported um, I'm going to at the end of this video I'm going to put the link at the bottom uh, for um, in the description so here we go well, first we're gonna create a content view and we're going to call it my switch. Okay. Now that we uh, we have the content view created, let's uh, fix this a little bit. I don't like it when it's like that. It gets it gets to me. All right. So now we're going to give ourselves um, access to the control folder that we created so that we can have um, image X and all of that. All right, so XM, do this, call it control, CLR, namespace, extended control, that control. Okay, now that we have that, we can come down here and, um, and have access. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a stack layout okay create a stack layout and within the stack layout we're going to have a relative view uh, could you do it without all of this maybe you can probably do it using a grid i myself prefer to use a stock uh, layout with a relative view okay now that we've done that let us uh, add the label Okay, uh, for now we're going to hard code everything in, in um, we're going to hard code everything in, uh, in XAML and then uh, later on in the series we're going to go back and uh, use um, binding context. So for the label, we're going to put this is my label. And we're going to give this label a name because later on we're going to need it. So I'm calling it this, um, underscore label. Okay, and um, vertical text alignment, it's going to be at the end. I want the text of my label to sit at the bottom of the content view. Okay, now let us, let us size our label, okay? All right, let's check it. Let us size our label. Our label is going to be approximately 
0.76 inches, I'm sorry, 0.76% of our screen. Um, I was playing around with it a little bit and I, I did some calculations and that's the number that I, I happen to like. If you want, you can change that number. In any case, let's, go, let's move forward. Okay, so relative width, relative layout, we're going to go with width, uh, constraint expression. And it's going to be type relative to parent. Okay. Property is going to be, of course, the width. And it's going to be a factor of, again, 0.76, which is what we this what I, uh, what worked for me. Again, for you, it may be different. Now that we've dealt with the width, let us not deal with the height of the um, of the label. I want the label to mm -hmm. be to be the full full height of the content view. So it's going to be constant expression type relative to parent. Okay, and it's going to be a factor of one, and it's going to be property height. Okay, done this. <clears throat> okay, so let's close let's close the label for now, and now we're going to to start working with image X. Um, gonna go to our friends here, Control Image X, and we're gonna give it a name, of course. Uh, I'll show you why we need that later. Um, gonna call gonna call it underscore image X. Okay, and um, look uh, over here, there's aspect and there's aspect EX. We're not going to go with aspect because that one is not going to do what we need it to do. We're going to go with aspect EX, which is the very reason why I decided to go with this one. And uh, I'm going to choose aspect fill. Okay, um, so for now, we're going to do the same thing we did. We're going to size up our our uh, image okay so we're sizing up our image uh, let's just copy some of the stuff here copy and paste and then customize it as we go okay so um, <clears throat> for the width of the actual button itself it's going to be 0.2 the height of it uh, for for the height the height is going to be 0 0.08 because we want to uh, centralize it uh, ver vertically on um, on the content view. Okay, and then we're going to do one more time. We're going to copy and paste. Uh, we're going to add two more, two more. So here uh, we're going to do. We're going to place it on the x-axis. On the x-axis is going to be point seven eight, and again here on the um, y-axis we're going with point eight. Again, those were the numbers that worked for me while I played with it a little bit, and uh, this is what I have. Okay, now let's move forward. Um, for now. Uh, for visual purposes, for visual purposes, I'm going to add the source as um, switch off. Remember again, that is the name of the file that I had right here. Switch off. Now we're going to run it. And see how it how it what it looks like.
Oh, my bad. Okay, I forgot to do this. Um, okay, so going to main. Again, let's go back to switch and copy this because we're going to need it. Okay. Um, Right, but first, before we do anything, what we're going to do is we're going to go to my switch, and we actually we actually have to give it a height. Okay, height request is equal to pay this no mind. Okay. Now let's run it again. Gonna run. Here we go. This is what it looks like, but don't worry. In the next video, we're going to fix that. Okay? So um, hang tight. On the next video, we're going to fix that real quick.